In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix your groin pain. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by Squat University. Today's video is all about fixing groin pain, specifically in adductor strain. Now, what we're gonna do is first start off with our evaluation process to figure out do you truly have an adductor strain. We're going to bring you through the early rehab process the middle to late rehab process, and finally, the return back to 100% what that looks like and what type of exercises I use to return someone back to 100%. Now, let's first talk, uh, talk about our evaluation process. Is the groin pain you're feeling related to an adductor strain? I'm gonna have Ed lay on his back or on his side, and he's gonna lay in this position. Now remember, your groin, specifically your adductors, are muscles that run from the leg all the way up on the inside part of your thigh. And what we're gonna do is a load test where he picks his leg off the ground, and then I'm gonna hold it, or I'm gonna ask him to hold it here while I push down. So hold, hold, hold. Does that reproduce the pain in his right groin? If so, if this is hard for him to hold up and that recreates pain in his groin, we can say it's probably uh, significant of an adductor strain. Now, if this is not producing pain and you still have a groin pain that you're dealing with, Head on over to squatuniversity.com and click on the blog article. What kind of groin pain do you have? There could be other reasons for the pain that you're feeling. It could be a hip flexor strain or a hip impingement. Those are different topics for a different day. Today's video is all about the adductor strain. So these next exercises are gonna be specific for the adductor. So let's say this created pain. What do you do? The first initial steps for fixing, for fixing groin pain due to an adductor strain is soft tissue work and then early light isometrics. So let's talk about soft tissue work. I'm gonna have Ed grab the foam roller. He's gonna lay on his stomach. And he's just gonna roll back and forth in this position right here. Now first, he has his knee bent, so he has the adductor in a shortened position. Um, this is going to be a little tender in certain areas, but the big thing, go slow. Do not go fast on this. And you're gonna pause in certain areas where you find pain. And just sort of pause and sort of go into the pain cave, but again, don't make this too painful early on. Then you can also extend that knee eventually. Now, make sure this does not create too much pain. We don't wanna make symptoms worse. So maybe a couple kicks and back. This is a little bit of active release technique that can be helpful with some of the stiffness that uh, comes into the tissues of the inner thigh after an injury like this. So maybe one to two minutes, and then he's gonna roll back onto his back. So we've addressed soft tissue quality and the way in which those tissues are moving. We're also gonna work on light strengthening. This is very, very helpful after initial groin injury. Something like this you can do two days after, um, does not need to be something that you wait a long time to add these in. He's going to grab that foam roller, put it between the knees, and he's gonna squeeze in. Now, think about if 100% of your force were to break this foam roller, I want you to back off. We're gonna go sub-maximal isometric, something like this. Squeeze maybe 30 to 40% at the start. See, what does that feel like? This should not reproduce pain. So we want this to be sub-painful as far as the intensity that you're feeling. Something like this, let's hold for 10 seconds and then relax. And he's gonna do maybe 10 to 20 reps. As he gets stronger and has his symptoms decrease, he's gonna push harder until he can get up to the point where he's pushing as hard as he can for again, that 10 second hold up to 20 reps. And this is helping bring back a strength stimulus to the injury, but not continue to make things worse. As he gets better, we're gonna increase the difficulty of the isometric by having his legs completely straight. And he's going to squeeze here. Now again, the reason this is harder is because we are lengthening the adductor by straightening his legs. So we have a longer moment arm for the adductor muscles. This is more difficult. So again, he's gonna squeeze. And again, an isometric is a muscle contraction without any movement. You can see that the hips are not moving at all. So he's squeezing as hard as he can. Again, the, ice, uh, the adductors are pulling the legs in. And you're gonna go through the same protocol. So you're gonna start light, 30 to 40% of a max voluntary contraction. As that gets easier, you're gonna go harder and harder until you're pushing as hard as you can. Something like this after a groin strain, after doing your soft tissue work, this may take a few weeks to build back up that strength as your pain symptoms wind down. That's phase one of a groin strain rehab. Phase two, once this is pain free, we're going to test our uh, original test again, so lay on your side. We're gonna see if we're ready 
for loads uh, at a higher amount. So bring this leg up, don't let me push down. Hold, hold, hold. If this is pain-free, let's go to phase two. We're gonna do some uh, strengthening where we actually move the muscle through a full length. So we have that eccentric and concentric contraction. So I'm gonna have Ed come on up onto the platform. We are going to take a towel and we're just gonna roll it up like that. And what he's gonna do is a towel slide. So step on there and he's going to squat and push the towel away from his body and then slowly bring it back in. Now, what is this doing? So this would be for his adductor on his right side. As he goes out, the muscle is eccentrically lengthening under tension. And then as he pulls it back in, the muscle is doing a concentric muscle action. So it is shortening under tension. This done too early, whenever you have that initial groin strain, this would recreate pain. So this is too early for some people, or if this recreates pain, you need to go back to your early isometrics and your soft tissue work. Um, so something like this, I may have him do two sets of 10 reps. Um, and eventually, this is gonna get really easy. We're gonna go and add back in even more load. So I'm gonna have him come over here and he's gonna return to his squat at this point. So he can do his regular squat for him. He's a little bit more toed out position. That's his normal. He's going to perform squats and again, to a pain-free depth. The adductors are very, very helpful at assisting in the motion of hip extension. So as you rise from the bottom of a squat, the adductors contract to help pull your body back up. So in that position, if you are using too much load too soon, it'll recreate pain. So for most people, start light. This may be bodyweight squats alone, two sets of 20 reps. And as you feel more confident, slowly add more load. This is going to be adding a weight in front. So I'll have Ed grab the kettlebell, we got like an 18 kilo kettlebell right here. Slowly add load, depending on the person and their history of strength. Go down through your kettlebell squat. That feels good. Early programming, we're trying to do a lot of volume and endurance work. So I may have him start off with sets of 15 to 20 reps. And as that gets easier, I will add a load with the barbell and decrease the amount of reps we're doing as we get back more into that purely strength work. So that is phase two of that groin strain rehab. Phase three, we're now going to use the muscle much quicker and we're gonna apply fast loads to the body, more of a plyometric. So what we're gonna do is a skater step. Now at the start, when I'm teaching this, I have someone go through it slowly and work on sticking their position. So Ed's gonna demonstrate what this looks like. He's gonna go to the side, stick the landing, go back to the other side, stick the landing, <coughs> moving around a little bit, okay? This is a tough movement. Basically what we're doing is going like a speed skater in the Olympics and sticking the landing. Now, right now this isn't plyometric, it's a fast movement, but eventually we can make it fast where his body's absorbing and then letting off that force very quickly. So it would turn into a fast skater step side to side. So this muscle is being placed under a lot of load very quickly and having to react accordingly. Very good, Ed. So that is the third and final phase of groin strain rehab. During that time, I will probably still continue some of the earlier exercises. So I'll still have someone do a little bit of soft tissue work early on. They may do the isometrics as a warm up, but by the time they get to the phase three, they're not still doing the isometrics. They're still doing their strengthening work. So we're doing squats. We can reincorporate deadlifts at that time, other things like that. There's a lot of other variations that you can throw in. But overall, that is going to be your general scheme for recovering from an adductor strain that's creating groin pain. Again. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. If you have any questions on groin strain rehab, let me know in the comments section below. Again, if you're enjoying these videos, share them with your friends and family, anyone that may be dealing with pain, and please subscribe to my channel if you find that the information that I'm bringing you is of value. It means so much for me to have you guys follow me at Squat University. Um, until next week, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have